What's up? You're tuned into Rappers Playing Games, aka RPG, and this is a very special episode where we are gonna play through the entirety of Ninja Gaiden with my homie, close friend, collaborator, and dope MC Colton Ferguson hey. at a secret levels. Thank you. You yeah. ready? Yeah, um, yeah, let's do this shit. <laughs> Alright, 1989, 1989 Tecmo presents Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden. I feel like I can beat this without dying once. Give it a shot. If yeah. you die, I'll I take know. over and then you'll have it back in 30 seconds. <laughs> Here it goes. This is the beginning. So this game was renowned for... It's cutscenes. It's cutscenes, right? Being, yeah. It's kind of a trailblazer. It's one of the first games that had cutscenes. And look, they're Naruto running. <laughs> Before Naruto ran. It's so creative with how it uses its limited graphics to accomplish that. Yeah. No, this is this widescreen shot here. This is my favorite moment. Oh, with whom did father have a duel and lose? For what reason did he fight and die? Even I don't know for sure. I'm invested. <laughs> oh, okay. The day after he disappeared, in father's room I found a letter addressed to me. It said... Ryu, I am on my way to a life or death duel. So good. If it is destiny that I not return, you are to take the dragon sword of the Hayabusa family and go to America and see the archaeologist, Walter Smith. Walter Smith? Ryu, always be brave. I will get my revenge! Yeah! <laughs> okay, here we go. First level, Neo Tokyo. Everyone knows where Neo Tokyo is, right? This game is a lot of jumping and slashing. And when you're not jumping and slashing, you're ducking and slashing. <laughs> I love how you know where all the power up. So yeah, to, to beat this game, you definitely have to know like where everything is. You have to know what everything is. There's a kind of a secret when you get the uh, when you get the jump slash, you can beat bosses like in a second. So that's one of the ways that people do time attack shit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But yeah. But uh, I that's think that's the jump slash you just got. That's it right there. Uh, but I think that Ninja Gaiden is like life. Honestly. I wanna hear you talk about that. Ninja Gaiden's like life because sometimes when you think like you're in a rut and you're going real slow, you need to just try beating the level fucking going balls to the wall. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I just go for his boss real quick there. I climb the wall. Can I just fuck around up here for a little bit? Yeah. Who are they? They seem to be following me. Who's there? Just a girl. Get out of here! I will, but first... <laughs> what the? Got shot. You got shot, dude. So then it's like act two, but then we go to another fucking cutscene. Mm -hmm. Which is just classic. Yeah, because what happened after you got <laughs> shot? Right, exactly. Ow. Where? Where am I? Shh, don't make so much noise. I've got a favor to ask you. Here, take this and escape. What is this? This statue? There's no time to explain. Hurry. <laughs> hey, hey, wait, who are you? Can you try to kill me? Someone's coming. Be careful. <laughs> awesome. Alright. Now, that's my cell door opened. Again. Now you're in the jail. My advice to anyone playing this game. What are these dogs that are in the jail? Yeah. That's always my question. <laughs> They're Nazi dogs. Nazi dogs. <laughs> so you don't feel bad killing them once over. Sorry, what is your advice to anyone playing this game? Uh, if you're playing this game, just, just fucking try beating the stage running all the way through. Don't worry about killing enemies, because you will die. Um, I've noticed that too, yeah. when I've been most successful at this game, is because I'm moving forward the whole time. And you can see Colton here has this jump slash, 
got it. Now, the thing is, I can let go of this jump slash if I want, because there's another one coming up later in the game. Right, before you get to the next boss. Yes. You know. You know, you're getting used to it. I know. I can play this game. I can get decently you? far in this. I'm not at your level, but I can get to, like, world, like, level 4-3. Pretty, pretty easily. Yeah. It's after that that I start getting angry at myself uh, in the game. The thing is, is like I have to be like, like I get in total relaxation mode. Like I get all fucking zinned out and shit from this game. Like, do you feel like you're, you're best at most things in life when you are just relaxed? Yeah, yeah. I gotta like just enjoy myself a little. You know? Whether on like on stage or. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh dude, rapping is all about just being comfortable with yourself, being comfortable in your own skin. That's why, like, I, I, I love stand-up comedians, man. Like, I so fucking respect them. You know, I... Because that shit is so hard, dude. I have a theory that stand-up comedians and rappers are the same kind of people. Yeah. No, they are. Because they crowd control and shit. Like, they get in there and take control, you know? Yeah, you get up there. You're by yourself. Your voice is the entertainment. And you are telling your story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're getting people to empathize and connect with your story. And uh, they're also kind of similar, they're often similar kinds of people. And you know, like Dave Chappelle said, every rapper wants to think they're funny and every comedian wants to think they're yeah. cool. Yeah, he's right. No, I always, th I always try to be funny. Sometimes I fail. Here's that jump slash on the boss! Did you see that now? Yes! I just totally whipped this fucking dude's ass. And then what I love doing is just like, jumping on the wall like a fucking <laughs> psycho monkey. This is the first game- oh. What is this bizarre statue anyway, and who was that woman? I grew more and more suspicious. I went off to look for that. Uh, supposed acquaintance of my father's. Mr. Smith. <laughs> oh, okay. Act three. Here we go. I think I come into... Yeah, here we go. Who is it? <laughs> you must be Walter Smith. The name's Ryu. Ryu Hayabusa. Ryu Hayabusa. <laughs> Who? That sword. Of course. You must be Ken Hayabusa's son. In his last letter. That's you. My father told me I should... In, in his last letter, my father told me I should see you. Last letter? I see. So it has already begun. <laughs> Ken and I were on an expedition to some old Amazon ruins. No shit. We found a strange statue and stone tablet. On the tablet, it said... <clears throat> Wait a minute. Wait a minute, you mean to tell me that that statue... Uh... Yes, precisely. <laughs> I thought it had been stolen. That demon statue possesses enough... Oh, wait. That demon statue possesses enough evil power to destroy an entire nation. The demon came to this earth and caused many deaths. What the fuck? It's insane! But then Shinobi appeared to stop the demon. Fucking Shinobi! Shinobi borrowed the strength of the dragon. And countered each of the demon's <laughs> spells, and thus was able to overcome it. <laughs> that pause is so funny. Yet, though it was defeated, the demon was not dead. So Shinobi confined the evil power of the demon in two statues of light and shadow. How? And the body of the demon was confined in a temple. This one must be the shadow statue. Therefore... Oh shit! <gasps> and now I've got it! Bye, friend! <laughs> what the? After him, Ryu! Alright. So now you're in this, like, old hermit's, like, where does he live in the United States? Looks like Denver, Colorado. Yeah, he lives in Denver. He used to fight demons uh, with his Japanese best friend. Watch who's... this move, I do. Okay. Oh, shit, I missed it. Never mind. Sorry. I fucked up. Oh, I tried to watch. I fucked up. It's alright. It's alright. Nothing bad happened. I didn't die yet. <laughs> That's true. Um, man. You like that? I like that. I love how that guy's just coming at me with a machete. He just, <laughs> he just He's out there already. Hey, dude, hold on, man. I'm gonna get you right now. Oh. So what happened to... What does that mean happened to our friend? Our dad's friend? Because 
Presumably, we've been tracked to his place, right. which is why that guy came and stole the statue, and it's all the goons outside. Yeah. So what is that old man? Is he just dead? Is he is he like a uh, homie at the beginning of uh, Force Awakens? And we're pretty much. Yeah. Uh, uh, the priest, the old priest. Yeah. Um, Max von Sydow, right? Yeah, Max von Sydow. Yeah, pretty much. He's well, he's not dead yet, bro. You just spoiled. Oh, he's is he gonna die later? He's gonna die. Oh no, spoilers. <laughs> Ninja Gaiden spoilers. Yeah, this dude, the music in this game is just fucking off the chart dope, though. Yeah, it is. Does anyone put it out on vinyl? I know a few companies do um, that with classic soundtracks. That'd be great. Um, now I think this is that fucking fr the dude goodbye frame that you just that you were. I hate this guy. I have a strategy for this. I'm interested to see what yours is. Well, okay. Usually, have those flames that go up. Um, but I didn't. Uh, oh, you killed him. You made quick work of him. Yeah, I mean he's dead. Go. After getting back to the demon statue, I felt the strange premonition and hurried back. Doctor Smith. Ryu, the light demon statue was taken. The light statue? Yes. Your father and I, we each kept one of the statues. Just in case. <laughs> You're gray and shit. So that the two statues would never become one. The demon's been asleep for 700 years and now it's starting to wake up. <sighs> Whatever we do, we've got to stop it. Become the ninja dragon. Dr. Smith! Dr. Smith! <laughs> Come with us! <laughs> so stupid. Okay, and then like cutscene. Like. Act 4, I know. <laughs> it's such a story. I yeah. love it. Welcome, Ryu Hayabusa. Sorry if I startled you. This music is sick. Mm. We are from the CIA Special Auxiliary Unit. My name's Foster. <laughs> Getting right to the point. Wait! I want to know who... I want to know why you killed Smith. We didn't kill him. But we'll fill you in on what we know. <laughs> We're American. <laughs> <laughs> In the upper reaches of the Amazon, some ancient ruins were discovered. It seems the temple was built more than 2,000 years ago. The discovery was Dr. Smith, who studied the ruins for some time. But one day, he suddenly sealed off the ruins. And ever since then, no one has gone close. Next slide. Later, however, a man moved in and took over the ruins. His name is Guardia de Mi. De Mi. <laughs> he calls himself the Hakio. <laughs> the coolest villain ever. According to our records, it seems that <clears throat> the temple is not where gods are worshipped, but was built to imprison the body of the demon. I love the CIA being like, there's a demon in, yeah. in the Amazon. This dude is BT the Therefore, evil spirits are supposed to be held in the statue you have. And that thing looks like hamburger meat. It just looks <laughs> scary. <laughs> Dr. Smith probably already knew that. It looks very xenomorph. It's derivative. scary as fuck. He was probably working, killed by someone working for the Hakio. Hakio. Hakuo. Was it? Hakuo? Hakuyo? I think it's a Spanish name because they've been living in the Amazon, right? When a black moon shines, light and dark break apart, the king of darkness howls. That's some deep shit. Just wanted bro. to know if you wanted to hear my poetry right on the side. <laughs> These were the last words written on the stone tablet. <laughs> I'm not just a CIA agent. If someone brings the demon back to life, he will gain incredible power. I do an open mic in Albuquerque. <laughs> Enough to control the entire world. So, you know about that? The woman The woman who shot you in the bar was one of our agents. They are after you. Use this and go to their headquarters. Get the demon statue back from them. Sure, no big deal. Right? 
Of course, you will be paid for the work. <laughs> this is when Ryu's like, I'm a nah, fucking ninja, okay. man. Yeah, I'm like Ryu. And if I say no? You know the answer to that. Uh-oh. Dark. All right. What? I love this. Now we're in the this Amazon. Shit. This is like Predator. Yeah, it's like it the beginning is. of Predator. You son of a bitch. Oh, that's you. That's me. Look at you. Why do I even need that parachute? I would argue that I don't. All right. <coughs> now I'm in. This the is jungle. the first moment of the game where I realized that going straight forward is easier because that dude with the gun was yeah. hitting me and knocking me into that yeah. gap every and time. Just got, and then these guys, those okay. guys are sadistic looking. Yes. What, the what? little ghost demons? Yeah, the dudes with the fucking uh, throwing crosses at you. Oh, yeah. Those dudes are insane. Dude, my number one... In the, at, the, at the end of this game, they are the guys that will kill you. You'll see. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they are the ones, like, the, some of the last, like, fucking enemies that suck on this game are those dudes just standing on a fucking platform throwing crosses. It's crazy. They represent the tyranny. I love this shit. Look at that. that. Oh, yeah, just the frame and then the <laughs> scale of it. Yeah, so it just gives you scale. I hate the birds. They're my public enemy number one. Just look at this, man. Oh, this Slash, is my favorite moment. bitch! Oh. Oh. Dude. When you were a kid playing this, like, this was like, you're like, oh my god, like, this is so fucking it's cool. It's a far flippin', flippin' cry from most shitty NES games. Yeah, yeah. You're like, right. When you see that, it's you're an like, action Holy game. Shit. There's just so much happening in it. Like, these guys suck, these little jumpy guys. Hey. So. A lot of this game is jump slash. Like, jump slash. I'll show you. Oh my oh! god! That was a fluke. I well, feel bad taking No, over. take it, take it, take it. Uh, no, but yeah. Uh, Let's see what my strategy is for shit. Have you gotten to this point? Oh, that was such a great slash jump. How do you feel about that controller? That Japanese. Vintage. Oh. oh! I thought I was gonna be all slick and jump early and I died. It's not bad jump slash right uh, now, right? No, your jump slash is powerful. <laughs> uh, so encouraging. <laughs> no, uh, dude, I gotta tell you that there's nothing like a crispy 80s Nintendo controller. Mm -hmm. This thing feels like feel butter. It, it feels like butter to me. Like because normally, and you don't, you don't need to distract yourself. Not this at is all. more for the. Normally, when I'm playing this, I'm using this, which is uh, this company, 8 Bit Do. Oh, okay. 8 Bit Do, probably. Right. Um, it's a wireless. It's got a little Bluetooth uh, receiver that plugs in okay. where the regular controller does. That feels, that feels right. This is great. I love this thing. It's what I play this on, and it didn't fuck me up going to your controller, but. Yeah, yours is like... It's just like butter to me. It's butter. It's because there's just, it's just, it's the 80s, it's there, it's these controllers. So apparently these controllers are magical, like people have said, like, they, they last for an, an uh, like, obscenely long time, uh, and they stay, like, just bouncy, the rubber doesn't, mm -hmm. like, de degrade and, like, you know, I don't know, man, just, like, playing with this controller... It feels like I've got like a samurai sword, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like I've got the OG. Let's you feel that confidence. Yeah, because I've played some like not real controllers on NES, and it's just oh, terrible. I hate that. Yeah, this guy's the worst. This guy sucks. So there's a lot of this in this game, bouncy bounce back and forth. But really, you just want to kill and move along. I can't believe right now I'm getting hit so hard. Are you? While you're playing through this yeah. level, because yeah. I know this goes on for a while, and I, I know you're going to kill it. What are you up to? Like, you have a new album? Yeah, we're, yeah, I'm recording an album with my boy Faxed. Um, yeah, and uh, he's from Houston. He's my producer. He's really cool. We talked about him coming to the shoot, but he just, uh, I think he was like kind of like, uh, he had his birthday this weekend, and I think he was tired. But um, anyway, uh, but yeah, man, we're recording an album, and DJ Burnsy's still there, and, and dude, shout out Burnsy, and Mateo, and my boys, and yeah, man, we're just recording it. It sounds dope. It'll be coming out. I'm thinking about the title right now. I'm just like mulling over rap names, you know, for rap albums. Dude, I love the game is never over as a uh, title, never over. And I, I'm gonna take this opportunity in the episode to flash your album art too. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh my fucking yeah, god, that was the demon dog. I killed in one hit. Holy so. shit. Yeah. I've never been able to hold on to that jump slash and I end up at this is that's where I die that's every where you time. Die. Oh. 
You have come a long way to bring me the demon statue. Now give it to me. <laughs> no! Do you know what you're saying? What? Ryu! <gasps> nice! Mm? Nice reveals. You... you coward! No, don't give it to him. <laughs> now, put down the demon statue on the floor and back up. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye. Have a nice day. <laughs> Take the girl away. <laughs> she is going to be a sacrifice. Ha ha ha! It is mine! <laughs> Dude is cold blooded, isn't he? Tonight is the night of rebirth, which only comes <laughs> once every 700 years! This world will soon be mine. Ha ha ha! Ha ha! Look at that shit! Ha. Look how cool he is, it's man. so rad. He's amazing, isn't he? It's so rad. He's such a cool guy. <laughs> I love it. I loved your reading of him. That's oh, exactly thank you. Like, I imagine like the Inquisitor from um, Silence. Like, oh, right. yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, now I just fell in that Dude, pit. this, I've never been this far in the game. Really? You've gone past my point in no return. That dog, You're kidding. that demon dog is the where I get caught up and seeing you kill it in one hit with the slash jump just changed my life. Like, Good. we're gonna play this and then later tonight when I'm by myself, I'm gonna come back and play it too. I think you should. This game nice. is this game is a classic. This game is a magical game. I feel like if kids these days could beat this game, they could do anything. You can become the fucking president. You, you know, know there's <laughs> it's not as hard as it used to. <laughs> there's there's a I set the bar high. Oh right. <laughs> you um, son of a bitch. You got like a double power fire out. That was like So that's like a really cool power that's good for hitting enemies that are out of your range up top. On the far right hand corner, or I guess left hand, whichever way you do it. Um but well, yeah. like uh I wanna go back to what you said about like this game being good for you. Oh, it is. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, you can just keep that guy going. Look. Because you know what I like? Watch this real quick. If you go and that thing's like out there, it's gonna end up in the same spot on this screen. Nice. That's so nice. Isn't that weird? Anyway, yeah, so go programming. Ahead. Yeah, just this idea of like, <clears throat> just this idea of the game not being just escapist, but like. Games of this era, the good ones, yeah. the bad ones that are hard are frustrating because yeah. they're not worth being good right, at, yeah. but the good ones that are hard, like, you just keep doing it over and over yeah. and over no, and I've played, over. I've beaten this game probably like a hundred fucking times. But then you get it, and it's actually, I think, re it is good for your confidence and does kind of teach you, oh no, I've gotten to this point. And it, it's good for your confidence and it does teach you, like, discipline, kind of. Just like totally. martial arts is supposed totally. to teach you discipline. Yeah. Um, well, it's funny because the way I, not to like shout out another person's videos and shit, but uh, I, I I remember watching the angry video game nerd do this shit. Oh yeah, yeah. He made it seem like it was impossible to beat, you know. And I was like, okay, I want to. Um, did you see how hard that was? Yeah, that part is the part that kills me. Literally. Yeah. Um, but yeah, watching him like lose on it. Um, and like not be able to do it made me kind of feel like I know I can fucking beat this game. Like you needed to prove something to the world. I, yeah, I almost like needed to because it was popular, you know, that video and stuff. Oh, like it's beautiful green. Yeah, this this game, dude. So like I'm you reaching, just walked past all that bullshit. So now this is I'm reaching a point in the game where um uh, when I was a kid I couldn't get past a certain point. Uh huh. And that's coming up. You as a kid is probably me as an adult. <laughs> no, on this game, you yeah. Mean. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I was obsessed with this game. It was one of those weird, it's one of like, the first games I think I ever, like... Oh, fuck, I'm gonna This die. guy sucks. <gasps> nice. Fucking dick. Oh. Um, no, oh but, God, uh... Let's get to the next screen. Alright, um, okay, uh... Oh, I just want to point out to anyone watching that Colton will die if he gets hit once. 
Oh, he's gone. He's gone. I did it. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Did you see that? Yeah! Okay, we're gonna do this again. Oh, wait. Yours. Oh, yours. give me a try. I'm gonna okay, suck at this okay. part. No, no, it's fine. I can't believe that! How many lives do we have? We have two lives. Yeah, I so mean, it's we okay. started. If I die, I'm not gonna fuck us up. No, you can, you can just enjoy it. Enjoy your run. Um, yeah, no, man. Sometimes this game, it just, it throws you through a loop, man. Look at that. Oh my god, you've got great jump slash. It's all about that jump slash. It's a rolling time. motion, right? Time. It's a like, timing. That's kind of how I feel. It's like it's like a it's like rolling slash, 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 yeah. slash, 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 slash. You pop it off. Yeah, it's magical. Oh. There I go. It's the <laughs> a guy. One thing the angry video game said about nerd said about this game that I totally agree with is that you sometimes almost forget that you have a life bar because you the majority of ways that you die are being knocked backwards by hits into those gaps. Yeah. That's yeah. like when I you play this game, I you don't never, lose energy. You, yeah, it doesn't yeah. seem like your energy is an issue really. Like I never die because I got hit too many times. The only reason you it's just, the patterns. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. It's just like knowing exactly where every fucking enemy is. Sorry, I'm cursing a lot on this one. You're fine, dude. I just, you know, the you kids. Curse. I want the kids to watch it. Well, if you really want the kids to watch it, then I'll censor out every time you swear or we swear and oh I'll, my mark, I'll, gosh. I'll include it in the, the description. Okay, okay. So when, so this is the my point that when I was a little kid, I couldn't get past this part here. And it's when you fight this dude, Moth. I am Moth! You will never get past me! <laughs> then I must defeat you. You are as bold as your father, but he is a much better swordsman. <laughs> That's such a diss. You know my father? <laughs> Come and fight, young Hayabusa! <laughs> right, you just gotta just attack him like and just hit him non-stop it's like I didn't realize like there's no fucking like there's no strategy there's no strategy to this dude I mean that's the strategy is no strategy but as a kid I was like trying to dodge you're you. trying to avoid all that yeah shit. and it, they will kill you you know and you just have to he kind of went down like uh, a little baby boy he did he's a bitch you killed my father nice angle in the shot isn't that great killed it is true that we fought but your father is alive <laughs> Liar! No. It is not a lie. If you proceed further, you will see him. But it will be the last thing you see. Fuck yeah. Oh, sorry. God! <laughs> but that was so tight. That so was like tight, such a hardcore dude. thing to say to someone. But it will be the last thing you see. Oh, and now you're right back where you were and you gotta go the yeah. opposite direction. So interesting. See, Whoa, it's all what jump slash. Thing? Jump slash. Now this level is the one. This is this is where the, the boys are separate. This is where the men this is where the boys become men, okay? This is I'll make love to you. Yeah, this is where boys to men were <laughs> was formed. Were formed in this castle. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a, it's a pressure cooker, but boys to men handled it no problem. Alright. Alright. Yeah, but this thing is insane. I have to just tell you that this is one of the most wildest levels I've ever played in my life. Visually, it looks like you're entering like the seventh level of hell. There's like pentagrams, like there's Jewish stars everywhere for some reason. It's, uh, I think it's supposed to be like this all like... Uh, it's mixing together all these different mythologies yeah. and religions. Which is really cool, like, that this game's plot is, like, about a ninja who, like, has a friend who explored the Amazon. As an, it's like a ninja who is friends with Indiana Jones <laughs> fighting demons. Who died. Yeah. I mean, you gotta think, that's probably what its influences were, you know? A oh my of, god. Oh, well, don't worry, you'll have this back quickly. Uh, that's fine. This level is just a mother. So right here, you've got to jump onto this dude's this dude's platform, and this is. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's okay. That's fine. Okay. We'll, edit, nice all, we'll edit all that out. Well, that's the nice thing about the 
of this game is that unlimited continues. So if you can keep going, you're never going to Here's the only thing. The title screen. Here's the only thing. When when you fight each last boss, there are three incarnations of the last boss and you get a refill of energy each time. If you die on one of those and then continue, you've got to uh, do the whole castle. You've got to do the whole castle again. But you don't have to um uh, you don't get the energy refill. Mmm, interesting. So yeah, it's it's it kind of changes it on you. Okay, this part you wanted this guy. Yeah, I needed that jumpy slashums. A little bit of jumpy slashums. Okay, uh, oh man. I love how like that's what I'm saying, like the Indiana Jones influence, because this came out in '89. You know, well, it's, like, it's a it's an adventure. This, like, this is a psychedelic adventure. But also there's Jasons in there, like it's not yeah. really, but it's, it's like a, lot of a pop deep, culture. hockey mask. It's a lot of pop culture, like military men and bats and... Yeah, a lot of stuff that was popular at the time. You're totally right about that Predator influence too, like military guys in the jungle. Yeah. Wow, this is a fucking So this is, this is, storm. this is it right here. So watch. You gotta get him to disappear. Jump, slash, jump, slash. That is the moment. That's where it, what separates the men from the boys, dude. The shape and the wheat. It's it's such a hard moment in this game. Oh my god. New. But did we get we did? You get to get past that part now. Oh, you get okay. to play this next part. Nice. Um, but yeah, man. Um, this game is just so much fun to me. I play it a lot. It's kind of actually fun, just like relaxing and playing it and not trying to like. I mean, I'm trying to beat it, but I was like, I'm just having fun with it, you know. So this is the final level? Final colored level. Like yeah, this is like the final stage, like in a sense. There are a couple different like, you know, parts of it, but uh, this is the final part that you're on. Six three. This is where if you are a master, you can get to the last guy here. If you know every move. Also the first game out. to incorporate wall jumping, I think, too. Really? I That's think so. Crazy. I mean, this game came out in 1989, think about that. Oh, I'm getting hurt. This is the part. There I go. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane, getting knocked back. So, again, in this game, when you feel like you're at a standstill and you feel like you don't know what you're doing, just try balls to the wall. Just try to run through it. Wow, yeah, I see that. See, I'm not even taking that. Oh, you just got. Oh my god. Oh, frigid butts. Um, yeah, no, uh, but when you're feeling like you've, you you don't know what you're doing in this game and you feel like you've lost it, just run through it. Just try to, like, don't stop. You know what I mean? Just, just slash the shit out of everything. Man, I killed half my health bar just on that screen. I've noticed you like that Nintendo controller. I do. <laughs> Don't you like that thing? I know. I love how loyal, loyal you are to it. Oh, it's like, it, to me, it's magic. Like it's a like, car salesman, like, I noticed you were uh, feeling pretty confident <laughs> in that Camaro. <laughs> it's like, be the man of tomorrow. <laughs> you the modern man. <laughs> it's like, don't you feel like you're a risk taker? I like these hamburger looking fools. I know, they do look like that. That's what I always think too, they're hamburger faces. <laughs> oh yeah, fuck you, you're frozen in time. <laughs> Sucker. Okay. Okay, so I was gonna say earlier and we got way distracted, but I wanna flash up your game is never over oh, album yeah, art yeah. because you drew it. Cause yeah, something that people watching this might not know, they probably know you as an MC, Thanks, man. but not as this like incredible yeah, thank you. comic artist. Yeah, I, I'm, I love comics and I, I, I work on my own artwork and stuff. Um, you were working on a uh, narrative comic, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on my own comic book. Is that secret or is that something? It's like kind of a secret thing. I mean, like, it's been okay. like my passion for the last like 10 years. I don't know whose voice this is. Ryu, you deserve praise for making it this far. Where are you? Show yourself! This is a different character. Yeah, it's my father. But even you cannot defeat the masked evil. Cool. Right? No one can beat me. Oh. No one can beat me. Even your father? What? Oh, flashback. Your father was not killed. 
He has been turned into the masked devil. Oh yeah, you're Hakuo now. Oh, I'm- No! <coughs> it will be entertaining to watch father and son fight to the death. Wake up, father! <laughs> no use. He thinks only of killing you. <laughs> So this is my destiny that Moth was telling the truth. What shall I do? <clears throat> I've got to think clearly. Father's eyes. They show he is controlled like a puppet. If I break the control, but what's controlling him? Well, look in the middle of the stage. It's got a big orb on it. <laughs> it's a big red nose. <laughs> it's a big old clown alien. Oh wow, you just made incredibly quick work of that thing. Yeah. And so it So you basically oh this Look how cool he looks. Look at those cool that's like some Genesis Super Nintendo uh physics right there. Yeah. On those kind of like circular arcs that they're cheating it to yeah, make. Yeah. Very impressive, dude. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh. You gotta like avoid those. And then slash. Dude. Okay, now. That was the first. That was the first incarnation okay, of the last. Okay, only lost boss. one life. So bar. now this is the second. This is Hakuo. Father. Father. Mm. Where am I? Re are you Ryu? Yes, Father. Arm. He's awake. Oh, it's Hakuo. Oh, it's Hakuo. <laughs> the Hakuo. You both will die! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> Father! Ryu, you've got to get them for me. Father! Your day has come, Hakuo! Wow, cool. Dude, that was tight. Alright, here we go. <laughs> this guy takes some skill to beat, honestly. So you gotta... You gotta know where he's coming everywhere. You gotta watch out for those flames, climb the wall, get one hit. See how I'm dodging him? Yes, I'm, I'm in quest. It's fucking hard. It's really hard. This is the thing, like, playing, beating this dude took time for me. Like, this is the thing that I had to learn how to do on this game. Because it's unique. It's definitely unique. Like. I've never played a boss like this where he's, it's just like a, it's just a, it's a slug out till the very end. It's just the. Yeah, the boss fight that makes that reminds me of is Metal Gear Solid 1 when you fist fight Liquid Snake. Yeah, yeah. The game. Yeah. It's just brutal. Yeah, you're it's just not You're gonna lose a bunch of your life. You're not gonna emerge yeah. perfect. Well, yeah, it's just a slug fest until someone's done, like. And his, and when you touch him, he like takes way more energy from you, you know, than when you take from him. Because you only take one bar of energy. And he takes two with each hit. I've noticed that. Well, and not only that, if you hit him, it takes like three. Oh, you got this. Oh, yeah. You're there. You just did it. Biatch! Oh! What if I die? Okay, <laughs> alright. Last guy. This is the statues. Oh, what, cool. we get a little cutscene, I guess. Ryu! Thank God you're safe! Let's go, Father. Let's get out of this temple. Rhea, wait. Before we do, the demon statues, we've got to throw them from the temple. <laughs> While we've still got time, before the black moon shines. Rhea, what's that? Uh-oh. Oh, shit, black moon. <laughs> Is it a lunar eclipse? This must be it. That's what the black moon meant. Oh no, the demon statue. So you get a final awesome giant monster, which is what we always have wanted. When we first saw those statues, that's what we wanted. Oh, cool. Wow. So those take a lot of energy from you. The little gross little sperm babies yeah. it's throwing out. And you can just attack that tail, or do you have to chip away at it, huh? Yeah. 
Looks like I did it. Boy! Looks like you did it! It's a good sound. Okay. Wake up, father, wake up! Ryu, I haven't got much longer. <laughs> this temple is about to break apart. Like my heart. Take that woman and escape. Take her. Take that woman. <laughs> Get out of here. Take her. What are you saying, father? I can't just leave you. Is that like from Star Wars? Ryu, you are a man now. You're a big, big boy. <laughs> my destiny is tied to the demon statue. Ryu, good luck. Father. Father! Father! Yay. Get treated to a beautiful treat. Get the cinematic ending. Yeah, dude. Oh, look at that part break off. Oh, isn't it just cool? It's special. It's special. Yeah. Congratulations, you get to see something not many people get to see. It's like we're sitting watching a sunrise. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it's totally true. <laughs> like in the old days, I just. It's so beautiful. <laughs> to us, it's just amazing. It's like we just left a giant crooked mountain hanging, like just ruining the landscape. Uh -huh. Oh, look. Hello. The CIA agent who shot you is suddenly. <laughs> I love her hair. Her hair yeah, is it's insane. great. Ryu. Oh, it reminds me of Blade Runner. Yes, yeah, Sean Young. Yeah. This is Sea Swallow. This is Foster. We detected the explosion from the satellite. <laughs> Job well done. You are to kill Ryu Hayabusa. Yeah. Like, they keep giving you more, you know? Like, even though it's what? like... Kill Ryu? That's right. Then you are to steal the demon statues. So this was your plan all along. I'll get you for this, Foster. <laughs> Ryu, you... I get two kinds of payment. The first I have already received. The second is you. Foster? Why? Because he's gonna kill him. Oh, okay. Vengeance. <laughs> I was like, what? Ryu, wait. Ryu. Are you in love with Foster? What is the payment you have already <laughs> received? Oh, it's here. <laughs> okay. She's right in front of me. What a weird ending! Yeah. It's so 80s. It's like, well, we well, are like, a man like and a woman own... in any situation. We are going to be a couple now. I don't even know your name. I don't even know your name. I... Oh no, that's you, Irene. <laughs> Irene Liu. Well, Irene, look, the sun is rising. Everything is so bright now. The darkness is finally over. I'm not speaking in my ninja voice right now. No. Because I've won it. I look at that. Like, look how beautiful it is. Sunrise. Now we really are, we are sitting watching, watching the sunrise. <laughs> I didn't even remember that, I swear to God. But I have beaten it a thousand times. Perfect. Thanks, man, for letting me do this. Dude. <laughs> that's it. That's Ninja Gaiden. We beat it. Staff, I we're getting credits. You beat it. You I mean, you, you, you did die no, on No, I have. I, I played a bit. <laughs> um... <laughs> All right, dude. Well, thanks for yeah, doing this. Yeah. This was super fun. Is there um, anything you want to plug? You got a new yeah. album coming out. A new album coming out. I'm thinking about naming it Rat Church. I love that. Wait one minute, think about where you don't go. Let the particles flow through the cosmos. Universal, no, I don't mean the studios. Purple down Earth. Jump into the wormhole. Wait one minute, think about where you don't go. Let the particles flow through the cosmos. Universal, no, I don't mean the studios. Purple down Earth. Jump into the wormhole. I wanna kick it with Einstein. Fuck up the limelight. Love a motherfucker. Just talk. More concerned with the destination. Preservation of self. Help. Books on the shelf. Never gonna know till you lose your health.